We're given a rectangle measuring 18 centimetres by X centimetres. Inside the rectangle are two circles, one with diameter 10 centimetres, the other with diameter 16 centimetres. These circles are fitted into the rectangle in opposite corners, such that they're right in with their circumferences touching two edges and they're touching each other inside the rectangle. Using this information, we need to find the height of the rectangle x centimetres. Let's start off by adding to the diagram information that we do know. We're trying to find the vertical height x, so let's try and build that up. We can put a vertical line in our top circle here, which we know must be five centimetres long because it's a radius of the circle. And we can do the same at the bottom. This one must be eight centimetres because it's a radius of the bottom circle. So if we can find the vertical distance between them, which I'm going to call y centimetres, we can use this to find x because x must be equal to the five at the top plus that y plus the eight at the bottom. So it's equal to y plus 13. How are we going to find y? Well, if we join the centre of these two circles together like this, we've got a right angled triangle here. And that hypotenuse is made up of two radii radius of the top circle and the radius of the bottom. So its length must be five plus eight, so 13 centimetres. Therefore, if we can work out the bottom edge of this triangle, which I'm going to call Z, we can use Pythagoras' theorem to find Y. And to find Z, we're going to do pretty much the same thing as we did to get our equation for Y. If we put in some horizontal lines, we can get a five centimetre line coming from the left hand side to the centre of that top circle and we've got an eight centimetre radius on the bottom circle and all of these together must equal 18 because that's the width of the rectangle. So the five from the top, the z in the middle and then the eight on the right hand side equal 18 which subtracting five and eight from both sides gives us that z is equal to five. So now we've got the hypotenuse and we've got the five of our triangle in the middle, we can use this to work out y y must be equal to the square root of the hypotenuse 13 squared minus the bottom edge of 5 squared which is equal to 12 centimeters we can now use our formula from the top x must be equal to 12 plus 13 so it's equal to 25 centimeters if you've enjoyed this video remember to subscribe to the doing maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases